Hi, my name's Jake, and I wanted to talk a little bit about my journey being diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which is a form of inflammatory bowel disease. And I just want to tell you how that came about, what I did, how I interacted with like the doctors, ended up, you know, how I got a specialist. I think it might help someone, especially people who might be having symptoms and don't know what's going on because that was the main thing for me i just didn't know what was going on so let's go to the beginning i was in university in my last year i was doing broadcast media which is you know i was making videos like i'm doing right now and i just started needing to use the bathroom a lot and there was a lot of pain and there was a lot of blood as well. Every time I went to the bathroom, there was some blood. And at first I just wrote it off as hemorrhoids. But when it just persisted, I was like, this is not hemorrhoids. I've, I've got to see the doctor. So I got an appointment to see the doctor. And I'll be honest, at the time, I, I, you know, I was always a bit of a hypochondriac, always going to the doctor. You know, if there was something mildly wrong with me, I'd go. And I was there. And the doctor, she just seemed like she hated her job and she just didn't want to see me. And I said to her, you know, every time I go to the bathroom, there's blood. And she says to me, you're just pushing too hard. You're just pushing too hard on the toilet. And that sounded ludicrous to me because I knew what was going on. I knew I wasn't even needing to push really. It just, it just comes out, you know, <laughs> it just comes out. So. That really led nowhere for me and I just became quite depressed because I didn't know what was going on and I thought the only logical thing in my head was this is bowel cancer and I'm dying. So I go back to the doctor and I tell her, you know, it's not any better. What can I do? I don't know what to do. And she just says... Here's some coding. And the, her reasoning behind it was, it sounds like you've got, you know, frequency like diarrhea, let's bum you up and codeine bums you up. So, you know, I didn't know any better. I took the codeine. It didn't really help. It didn't help at all, actually. And I have to go back to the doctor. I'm like, this isn't working. So the doctor then finally gives me a referral. She says, I'm going to refer you to gastroenterology you know, at the hospital and they can find out what's going on with you. So that took like three doctor's visits. Um, and during this time, I'm just basically I've given up, you know, I've given up on my work at uni, just putting the minimal amount of effort because I think, you know, I'm, I'm dying. There's no point to this. And, um, you know, I just started drinking. I was drinking like Jack Daniels um, just because I felt like there's no point to anything, really. I just thought it was over, you know. I thought it's everything's fucked, basically. That's what I thought. During this, I got one of my first video jobs. And this is weirdly connected because it was for the British Society of Immunology. So I go there, we're filming interviews with these people who were talking about biological drugs for things like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. And at the time, this information is just going in one ear and out the other. I'm just there to film an interview. And in between each interview, I had to run to the bathroom to, you know, let blood out, basically. Um, and then I'll come back, film the next interview, rush to the toilet. It turns out they're talking about the medications that I am on now for the condition I didn't even know I had at the time. Now it's just really strange looking back, those videos are still online and just listening to t talking about biological drugs, um, immunotherapies. I just find that really unbelievable, really. And I was there. I wasn't telling them I felt that way. Obviously, I just discreetly went to the bathroom, came back, filmed the interview, but 
yeah, that was really strange, really weird coincidence. That, that was my first video job. So anyway, that happens. I finally get my referral comes through and I finally get an appointment to get sigmoidoscopy. So basically what's going to happen is they're going to put a camera up my bum and it sort of goes up to the first bend of your bowel. So they're going to just investigate, like, why, why are you bleeding? <laughs> and yeah, they find that I've got ulcers and that, you know, they're bleeding, they're aggravated. I've got ulcerative colitis, basically. I'll finally find out what's going on. So I get put on, um, this medication called mesalazine, like pretty much straight away after the sigmoidoscopy, they're like, here's some mesalazine. And, um, I was taking four grams of that. And then they, they say, take this, um, you're going to, they basically lay out, they're like, it's very treatable disease. They say to, and they're like, don't worry about that. It's highly treatable. Although you're going to have it forever. That's, that's what they told me. And yeah, I started taking the Pentaza and for a while it did subside, but from then on, I knew what was going on. Basically, I knew that I had ulcerative colitis and what I'm trying to say from this is that if you are going through something similar, the best thing that you can do is to just push for that referral for a specialist to look at you. Cause doctors, they're like the first, they got a lot of general knowledge, but they're not specialized in those sort of things. So they might just write you off as someone who's pushing too hard on the toilet, even though it just sounds ridiculous <laughs> thinking back to it, but <laughs> maybe some people are pushing too hard on the toilet. I don't know, but yeah, just make sure that you get yourself checked out, basically rule out that you don't have this. And that's the best approach I would say. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. I hope it helps someone. And that's about it really. So yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.